He powerful. is powerful. He's a powerful singer. He's powerful. Powerful. He's like the Michael Bolton of country music, isn't he? Well, isn't he? I mean, I'm just... sure that's one. That's that's a compliment he wants. Seven forty-five. All the things you could have said about Tim McGraw, <laughs> I'm sure he wants to be called the Michael Bolton of country music. Just powerful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Seven forty-five. It's quarter till. Good morning. Um, I was just thinking. Oh. There was what was? Do you remember a restaurant over on? Dorchester Road years ago. It was between the Lazy Bee and the Air Force Base. It was in that little shopping center where the music store is. It's an um, Italian joint. Yeah, uh, Bella and Napoli was. I do. Name. You remember Bella and Napoli? Yeah. I sure do. I remember um, Colucci told me about it. He said, boy, best best Italian food in town. Yeah. And then they, they uh, closed up. And I think they opened another restaurant somewhere. It became partners with somebody else somewhere but i never quite found them again but they had some really good italian food well i found them again they're they're open again and i paid for dinner so i can talk about this <laughs> are they back in the same location no they're, they're in north charleston in um right beside the ice palace between the ice palace and the green dragon mm-hmm Oh, in that shopping center. Yeah, on that, in that strip right there. It's yeah. a Bella Napoli. And, and I think, what did she tell me their names were? Cat and Gary. Same guys that used to have, he used to do all the cooking and everything. Mm-hmm. The same guys that used to have Bella Napoli on door. They're now Bella Napoli in North Charleston. And, and it was just uh, it was just great. Brett Marietti's the one that told us about it. He found it. Okay. A lot of businesses are smart to move in that area in preparation of uh, Boeing opening. Oh, exactly. Because they're, I mean, within three miles of Boeing, they're going to need some good restaurants. Mm -hmm. Well, if you remember that place, and we went up there Saturday night early because we remembered how it used to be. Yeah. And you couldn't get a seat. Yeah. And uh, and I guess I just didn't, I assumed that it would be that way again. Not quite that full yet. I don't think most people know they're there. Uh, so we didn't have any problems. But, boy, we sat there for a long time mm-hmm. and just ate and talked and ate and talked, and it was great. My wife let me have tiramisu and everything. Really? Yeah. Wow. She was in a real good mood. Tiramisu? No, my wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's tiramisu? She was waiting on me. Okay. Um, she was the waitress. <laughs> well, you have a <laughs> very nice wife. So, honey, can I have some tiramisu? She goes, eat all you want. <laughs> So I did, and then took some of it home and had had some more on Sunday. No well, kidding. Is, it man. was really, uh, it was really. But it, but if you remember that joint, I encourage you to get up there. And there. It's a little mom, like little, like we were talking a minute ago. That other yeah. that mom and pop kind of thing, mm-hmm. just trying to make it. And the restaurant business is tough as a mom and oh, pop. I'll is, tell you right man. now. That's right. And we know that. Yes. And and, and um, uh, so I encourage you to support them as much as you possibly can. And uh, you said you found a local place yesterday, too, up on Rivers Avenue, right? Yeah, you know where the uh, Wendy's used to be, right in between Church's Chicken and the uh, Chinese joint, right across from the old Sam's. Mm-hmm. It's in front of that, uh, big, that big church. That, there's a big church that used to be a strip joint. It just, just down from that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, it's called the Hickory Hog. And I saw him throw up the signs a couple of weeks ago, and I went, cool, we're getting a barbecue joint right there. So yesterday, I was passing on Rivers Avenue, and I saw the sign again. I said, you know, I'm going to pull in there. And there wasn't a whole bunch of people in there, but it was 1.30, almost 2 o'clock. And I went in there and ordered a barbecue sandwich, and they uh, they put some coleslaw on it. Did you, wait a minute, did, did you pay for your food? I paid for it all. So, all right, we can talk about this. I paid for this. everything. Okay, we, this, we, we all paid for our food. But the cool thing was they were listening to WEZL inside the Hickory Hog there oh, on Rivers good for Avenue. Oh, good for uh, them. And after I paid and after I ate, I went over and introduced myself. And I said, like, I just want to thank you guys for listening to Weasel. Did you tell them you were we Gary really Griffin? I always tell them I'm Gary Griffin. Yeah. And they were very impressed with uh, They said I had more hair than they thought Exactly. That I, did. I always get that, too. <laughs> you got more hair than they make it sound. But they said they listen to the uh, morning show all the time while they're preparing in the morning. And uh, it's a mom-and-pop place in a string of franchise mm-hmm, restaurants. So mm-hmm. if you want some good barbecue... Head on over to the Hickory Hog. Absolutely. And uh, just support local. Yep. That's it, man. And I'm just telling you. And and when I say that, I mean, even like, uh, and I wish I, God, I've lost his name. It just uh, uh, The guy who was here from O'Charlie's yesterday, uh, he brought lunch over to the office from O'Charlie's. And, and I didn't pay for it. Somebody did. Yeah. Probably his name was Charlie. <laughs> it could have been. Oh, oh Charlie. Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what a nice guy he was, too. And those were some good. 
I'm just telling you, uh, you know, get out and, and have a dinner once in a while and support local when you can because they're working hard for their money just like everybody else. I right? was here late yesterday. How did I miss those burgers? I don't know. I told him you should probably sleep on the couch, get you one before you woke up. <laughs> Seven fifty. But you gotta th- hook a brother up now when <laughs> food comes here. You gotta search me out. Thanks to the folks up at uh, Bell and Napoli uh, for for being back in business, and the folks over at the barbecue uh, place there, the Hickory Hog, the Hickory Hog Don't on Rivers Avenue, and Oh Charlie's for lunch yesterday as well. We appreciate you all very much. Thank you. Guys. Nothing says welcome home.